Hi, I am uh, Ram Prakash. I'm a senior professor here at Ayuka. I'm the head of the instrumentation lab. I'm sitting in one of the rooms of the instrumentation lab here where um, I did my PhD as a student more than 30 years ago. These labs were established by Professor Sham Tandon at the same time as Ayuka was established. And over the last uh, two or three decades, uh, the facility has grown, multi-pronged, its activities have grown substantially. And I'll try to um, give you a glimpse of what all we do in these labs. There are two aspects of the activities which we have in this Ayuka's instrumentation lab. One is a development of core technologies for astronomy and astrophysics, because astronomy is uh, uh, observation driven science. And for carrying out those observations, you need various kinds of uh, equipments like telescopes, spectrographs, uh, cameras, polarimeters, et cetera, et cetera, both uh, ground based and space based. So for these technologies, these facilities, uh, the new technologies have to be developed. As technologies uh, become available, uh, new technologies develop, we have to explore all the time how those technologies can be put into use for uh, applications in astronomy and astrophysics. So we emphasize on three areas uh, in technology development. Uh, the first one is developing um, high precision controllers for sensors in astronomy, various kinds of sensors, but primarily CCD, CMOS, infrared, uh, detector, arrays, and other kind of sensors. These are crucial for, uh, these are the light sensing elements in um, uh, telescopes and instruments and uh, controlling them, the electronics required to controlling them uh, are being developed uh, in Ayuka. We also work on applications of optical fibers for astronomy. Uh, for example, uh, to bring capabilities of 2D spectroscopy or hyperspectroscopy in astronomy, uh, by which you can map an entire region of the sky uh, and get the spectrum for that entire region in one go. Uh, highly multiplexed hyperspectroscopic applications using optical fibers and other techniques. We also develop uh, techniques for adaptive optics in astronomy and astrophysics, uh, where um, when light passes through the atmosphere, it gets distorted uh, because of turbulence in the atmosphere. And the adaptive optic systems measure this turbulence and in real time correct for it so that uh, images can be produced as if the facility is sitting in space without the, uh, the defocusing or blurring effects of the atmosphere. So these are some of the technologies we develop uh, in this uh, place in the instrumentation lab at Ayuka. We also build uh, full-fledged instruments, uh, starting from uh, design concept, all the way from the full-fledged design, detailed design, uh, then, um, then actual fabrication of the uh, components, assembling and testing them together, and then deploying them on facilities like telescopes, observatories, et cetera, and then reap the benefits of science. So we do end-to-end -end, uh, instrument development programs also. We have in this lab, several instruments have been uh, designed and developed, starting from imaging polarimeter, which was my uh, PhD program more than 30 years ago. But more recently, we have developed instruments like RoboAO, uh, a robotic adaptive optic system, which works autonomously on small telescopes to correct for atmospheric uh, 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 de-blurring. We also have developed something called RoboPole, which is a polarimeter uh, in collaboration with um, uh, a set of partners in Greece, in US, and South Africa, etc. Uh, we have recently uh, been involved in some space activities. Uh, it started with AstroSat, where the UVIT instrument was built uh, in collaboration with the Indian Institute of Astrophysics. Uh, by uh, Professor Sham and, and his team. And then more recently on the Aditya L1 mission, we have built the Solar Ultraviolet Imaging Telescope, which has recently been launched by ISRO and it has reached the Lagrangian point L1 uh, between the sun and earth and has just started observing the sun. So these are a set of instruments uh, we have built in the recent past. We are also working on other new 
instrumentation like a very wide field polarimeter which will measure the 3D tomographic structure of the galactic magnetic fields and the dust distribution in the galaxy at high galactic latitudes, uh, which would be a very, uh, you know, uh, gold mine of data, which has never uh, been attempted before. And these two instruments will be established uh, in uh, one in the northern hemisphere uh, in, in Greece and one in the southern hemisphere in South Africa, so that both the galactic north and south poles can be simultaneously observed to, to uh, conduct a very large survey, uh, which will last about four to five years. So there are these instruments which we built. Also, we, uh, the technologies we use or develop uh, are um, applicable or find many applications in uh, fields outside astronomy. As an example, we have recently concluded uh, uh, a collaboration, a consultancy work uh, with CDAC, where uh, we help them develop um, industrial spot sensor cameras, which can be used for uh, various kinds of industrial applications. We also worked with them to develop uh, infrared uh, thermal imaging system for uh, road traffic monitoring applications. And these two have just uh, completed and the technology transfer has recently taken place to uh, some of the first uh, industries uh, that uh, would use these technologies and these, uh, uh, these uh, cameras for multiple applications. So our uh, activities in astronomy and astrophysics uh, are now beginning to find applications beyond the limits of astronomy and into the wider uh, domains of uh, society and, uh, uh, and other fields. Thank you very much.